When we mention vertical wall with limited perforation, what we assume is a vertical wall that has been fully drilled across the reservoir section and we've got only some limited perforation like this, with height equal to HP. So either we perforated uh, only a limited section of this wall, and we may have done this on purpose for production efficiency. Let's say if we've got an aquifer, we might want to avoid water conning, or we might want to delay water breakthrough. So we want to get a sort of distance between the perforation interval and the bottom of the well where you've got the aquifer. Or in case of gas cap as well, we might want to get some distance between the top of the reservoir and the perforation. Okay, to try to avoid gas coating and delay as much as possible gas breakthrough. Now some other scenario, we might, even though we perforate the entire section, we might have only a small limited section producing. Okay, that might be because some of the perforation intervals are plugged, so we might have some high skin due to some debris from the perforation, let's say, or we might have a non-uniform skin. We might have some drilling and completion fluid invasion, and we've got some high skin, let's say, at the top of the layer or at the bottom of the layer. And we might end up with a wall which is equivalent to a vertical wall with limited perforation. So we've got the layer with height equal to h, this is the net reservoir thickness. Again, okay, we've got the penetration ratio, which is hp over h. Sometimes we talk about limited perforation and partial penetration are being more or less the same. But strictly speaking, when we mention partial penetration, this is the type of scenarios. When we've got a vertical wall that hasn't been drilled across the full reservoir section, and we've got only a small section like this example here, and so now, even though we fully perforated the entire vertical wall, only this open section equal to HP is producing, and we've got a penetration ratio equal to HP over H. You might see this example with multi-layer reservoir where we didn't fully drill the bottom section or the bottom layer, and we end up with this sort of phenomenon. But in general, limited perforation is more or less the same as partial penetration. Okay, we've got a limited section in the reservoir producing. And this section is of height equal to HP. In this particular example, we placed this limited perforation in the center of the reservoir. But in some scenarios, it might be at the top or at the bottom. So you will need to pay attention to the distance from the top of the reservoir to the center of the perforation. Okay, this is in general called ZW in most of the world test software. Okay, so let's have a look at a quick example with this vertical wall with limited perforation of height equal to HP with net reservoir thickness equal to H. Okay, so the limited perforation is more or less in the center of the reservoir. We've got the ideal case and we've got an homogeneous reservoir, so a uniform permeability throughout. I'm going to try to figure out the typical response that you get on the log log plot or the derivative plot. So intuitively, near the well bore, you might expect a radial flow regime across this open vertical section, across the limited perforation height equal to HP. So radial flow regime, this is a circular flow in the horizontal plane towards the vertical section and this is developed only across HP, the limited perforation height. So as we said near wall bore, we should think small delta t, radial flow regime, so we've got a stabilization, and now this radial flow regime is developed across HP, so it's not indicative of KH, but indicative of KHP. Further away from the wall, what we've got is now the contribution of the non-perforated layer contribution of the rest of the reservoir. So what you'll expect to see is a spherical flow, okay, so a three-dimensional flow towards this limited perforation. So it's further away from the wall, so it's at larger than the T, and spherical flow, this is represented in the ideal case by a negative alphanite slope straight line. Further away from the wall, at large distance in the reservoir, this act as a sink, and this is equivalent to a vertical wall which has been fully perforated 
we'll expect to see radio flow regime across the entire net reservoir thickness. So this system now, at some distance in the reservoir, this is equivalent to a vertical wall fully perforated. So again, radio flow regime, and this is at large distance in the reservoir, so large delta t, radio flow regime, we've got the stabilization, and this is developed across the entire net reservoir thickness, h, so this radio flow regime is indicative of kh. kh being higher than khp, this stabilization is lower. And this is the typical response for a vertical wall with limited perforation.